My name is Adam, and it is December 14th, 1995, and I got my hands on one of those Ultra 64s, you know, the one you've been hearing about for a while. Now, how did I get it? Well, my uncle works at Nintendo, so... And he knows how much I like Mario games, so... He snuck one out for me. He's got to bring it back. So, I figured, um... I would do a video. So, got my tape recorder. Got it hooked up. Here's a cool thing, though, is, uh... I found a way to add a microphone through the AV port, so that's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. So, Ultra 64 right here, it's the coolest freaking system ever. I mean, so far. The PlayStation's already out. And it's pretty alright, but from what I've seen here, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, I'm smoking. What of it? It's my video. I don't know if anyone will ever see this. Would be kind of nice if uh, someone was able to just upload things like this to the internet. That'd be cool. Hopefully one day you'll be able to do that. I'll hold on to this tape until then and see if there's a way to get it digitized or whatever. can't imagine just making copies of this tape and putting it on a putting it in people's mailboxes would go over so well but anyway this is a uh, Mario 64 and from what I understand this is a nearly finished version there's already a save data here and I don't want to mess with that and I'll just make a new data and then erase it before they have to, before my uncle has to send it back. But anyway, oh, that's Mario. Looks like you can unlock Luigi. That's pretty cool. Oh, man. The heck is Gamma 64? I don't know, that's probably a working title. The heck is a ROM hack? I don't know. Oh man, this controller! This controller is weird. It's got this joystick, this thumbstick. The only other time I've used a joystick was a. Uh, when my friend let me play Doom on their PC, they had a joystick. It was a big one, though. It was like a flight stick. Those things are pretty cool. Look at that. I can run around. I'm I'm assuming A is jump. Yep. What's B? He punch. These C buttons. These yellow buttons here. Interesting. Wait, holy... I'm excited. I'm excited. This is insane. To think we went from, like, Donkey Kong Country to this. Oh. Mario's got moves. What's the... Hmm. This is Z button on the back of the controller. That's interesting. I'm just running around the outside of this castle here. I assume this is, a uh, Peach's castle. What's up here? Cool. Now, my uncle did tell me a few things. Can can I swim? Oh. Uh, uh what the heck? Oh. Alright, you gotta, like, time... You gotta time the A button presses. That's interesting. 
In the water, down is up and up is down. I guess sort of similar to how like a flight control would work. No, yeah, all right, that makes sense. Now how do I get out of this water? Just go this way, I suppose. This is ridiculous. I've seen 3D games before, but nothing like this. This is insane. This is like... This is just video games now. Alright. I think I've messed enough with the, uh, controls. Welcome! The castle is connected to a variety of worlds, so jump into one of the available four paintings to get started. Paintings. Oh, I can't. I can't do the uh, camera from here. Looks like they're numbered. I don't know why one is there instead of there, but let's go into one. Yeah, up, up, see. Up, see. Let you look around, which is cool. You smack in the middle of the valley. If you climb the mountain, be wary of cliffs. You can fall off at any time. Well, thanks for letting me know. This is massive. Look at this. That seems to be a good way to get around the level. Hmm. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Oh, oh, he's stuck. Oh, it's just like the, the, the chain chomps in Mario 3. I see, I see. Get away. Look at that, the joystick lets me sneak. I can sneak. That is so cool. I noticed there aren't any mushrooms in this game. I'm just kind of am Mario in this one. Bomb on. Let's try and punch him. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Okay. That's cool. Look at this guy. Hmm. Well, he's got, like, bandages on his back. Hold on. Wait, is this... Is this, like, young? Oh. I see. This is so cool. Like, my friends are not gonna believe. They are not gonna believe that, uh... I got early access to this game. Get the coins. I see, that's still similar. Okay. Yeah, Mario's very athletic in this game. He's always been pretty athletic, but now you got, like, cool moves. Hold up. Uh, you can crawl. That's funny. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. I didn't even I didn't even know you could do that. But I guess that's really helpful. My uncle didn't bother to smuggle a manual with him. So I'm just kind of figuring this stuff out for myself. Hey big guy. It makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and still you walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? Oh, well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. 
Do you have a problem with that? Just try to pound me, wimp. Ha! Okay. Uh. Health. You just got a regular health bar kind of thing. And it's regenerating. All right, well. All right. I see what you got to do here. What's up with Mario's voice? I think they're just using like stock sound effects for his voice. I thought that there was supposed to be someone to do his voice, like for real. I guess not. I guess they uh decided against that. Or maybe they're still, like, adding it in. He certainly doesn't sound like the, uh... Mario from the cartoon. Ooh. That's scary. Let's go in there. Hmm... Oh, uh, yeah, I figured that one out. Get them coins. What's this? Huh. Th this is all so exciting. I can't wait. Look. My uncle may be helping me cheat to play this game. What the heck? You asshole! No. No. You go into the lava. There. I don't know what the heck he was supposed to be. Okay. A triple jump? That's pretty cool. Oh, the camera. The camera won't go any further. Ah! Oh! Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Let's try that again. Oh, man. Let's go this way. This is no oh, crap. I did too hit the jump button. No, no. There you go. I don't believe those guys are in any Mario games before this. But then again, you know, every every Mario game adds some new enemies to it. Remember Mario 2? That was weird. You know, I have a theory that it wasn't even originally a Mario game. Like, I could be wrong. Ooh, that was cool! Oh, this camera. It won't rotate anymore. Why? How am I supposed to know if jumping that way is going to get me somewhere or not? Well, like I said, this is a nearly complete version. I guess they would have a... Ironed out some things by the time the full game is released. You should see this cartridge. I wish I, I wish I could so show you. It's like a big tall thing. I don't think that's what the uh, official cartridges are gonna look like. Okay, what is this? He's trying to grab me. But. Uh... What if I grab you? What if I grab you? Oh! Take that! 
Take that. Oh, well. Alright, so apparently these stars don't give you invincibility. They're just like the thing you collect. I suppose that makes sense. Like, instead of like having a start to finish like other Mario games, you collect things. Huh? Ghost house. Ooh. That donk's castle. Oh, these are these are levels. A lot of levels. The city. That sounds cool. Bowser in the lava lake. Oh, those are numbered S one two three four. I guess those are special. Lake Mountain. So there's three more stars to get. Looks like most levels have four stars in them. Okay. Uh, so the number four door takes three stars. That, that makes a lot of sense. I think Nintendo forgot how to count. Wait, does that mean two will open this one? Okay. Ooh, snow level. Whoa! I knew that coin looked suspicious just sitting there all alone. Take that. Alright, now this level will let me turn the camera around all the way. What? What's up with that? I don't know what these red coins do. They do something. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I guess... I guess that's too cold. Well then how do I get those then? Oh, this is so interesting. I'm so looking forward to... Being able to get a lot more time with this game. I feel like I'm never gonna get bored of it. Even when graphics get more and more realistic and they stop looking so blocky, I'm... Probably still gonna come back to this game a lot just because it's fun. Like, holy crap. Only Nintendo would get it right the first time like this. Okay, alright. What? Hmm. Alright, camera, camera, camera. Cooperate with me, please. Hold up. Oi! Oh! Okay. Mm, I'm making this video for, uh... Historical documentation reasons, because this is quite historic. Hmm. Ah! We're gonna look back at this. And be like... Wow, this is the beginnings of 3D gaming as it is. That wave effect is really cool when you jump into paintings. No! <laughs> and to think about a future what technology is going to be like. Like, let's say 30 years from now, give or take. I wonder if we'll have, like, flying cars by then. I don't know how that would work. We'd have to, uh, remake the, uh, the roads. The way the the way the traffic system works. I feel like that would be the real uh, obstacle in the way of like flying cars, but also like computers. Can you imagine what computers could do?
And we just got this Windows 95 thing, and that's a that's pretty amazing. There were Windows before, but I'm guessing... I keep going in this level, because, like, I want to get the stars. But okay. Oh, I already got that star, so it's an outline now. Makes sense. But yeah, this is what computers can do now. This is a video game system. Uh, let's get all these red coins. Let's see what happens. Well, let's try. Anyway. It... Is that a freaking Wheel of Fortune sound effect? No. Yes. Maybe. I don't know. Where am I supposed to get those? We're gonna figure it out. <coughs> Excuse me. I wish I could say I could edit that out in post, but, like, that kind of technology isn't exactly readily available to the public just yet. I suspect it's going to take quite a while. If at all. Like, can you imagine? Like, if they make, like, affordable software that you can just... You got me. You... Stop it. What I was saying... Can you imagine just one day, like, being able to get affordable software and you can just edit videos and make it like on TV? Jump cuts, camera shifts, sound effects, all that, you know? That would be... I'm just gonna go for it. Your health regenerates anyway, so... You lose two pieces of health for... gonna go for it yeah all right don't have to worry about those anymore oh I see I have seven I need eight I see I see I was hoping there was something on the start menu to show me that so I'm guessing eight red coins equals another star I, I think that's a safe bet is there one up here? I know one of the stars was up here. Oh, get up there. That's cool that you can climb the wall like that. I mean, it's pretty obvious that they put like a grate on the door like that. that or on the wall like that. That's probably what you do is you climb it. My, my uncle did tell me that you can keep from getting hurt by falling if you do that. Uh, where's that last red coin then? Weird. It's got to be around here somewhere, right? It can't it wouldn't just not be somewhere. Hmm. This music is quite nice. I'm not even paying attention to it, but like it, it it's very jolly sounding, very Christmassy. And just the sound quality in general is like 
amazing. Like, the Super Nintendo was pretty incredible in its day. But, like, this music, it, it sounds like real music, you know what I mean? Which, ah, crap! I said the same thing about Donkey Kong Country. And it still sounds amazing. DKC 1 and 2, I hear they're working on a third one. If it ain't already out. I don't know, I don't I don't have that much access to uh You know what I'm just gonna Just gonna go to a different level. I like that. If I get stuck I can just go to a different level. What's up here? Oh, okay. Interesting. Coin, 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 coin. How do I... How, oh, that's... Yukiki's Jungle. The monkeys live here, thus the name. See, if you grab one, they aren't easy. You can get a star. You can also play the Whack-A-Mole game. <laughs> you should do it more, though. The moles don't like it. The moles won't like it. Why would I do it more then? Are they are they mean moles? One more thing, see those exclamation mark blocks? Some contain secrets and you have to collect five of them. Alright, well. Thanks for telling me how to do the level. Hold up. I know you can jump on the goon. Can you punch? Yes! You can punch the Goombas, that's amazing! I love that. Mario's just straight up aggressive in this one. I was trying to land on him. I'm trying to kill. There we go. It's trying to kill this Goomba in style. All right. Well, a number pops up. There's a sleeping piranha plant? Aww. He's even got cute music. Fuck you! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Th this isn't... In my humble opinion, this isn't going to take away from, like, what the 16-bit consoles had to offer. Ooh! Gotcha! But it's, like, additive. It's, like... I, I feel like a whole lot of people aren't going to feel the same way, and they're going to be, like, you know... Why, why play the, those old systems when we got this now? But that's... That's not how I feel, you know? That is certainly not how I feel. And I feel like there's gonna be a time when those people are gonna look back fondly on, like, their Sega Genesis and their Super Nintendo. I just realized something. First-person shooters are going to be sick on this thing. Like, seriously, with these graphics? I mean, obviously, I would imagine they wouldn't be as, like, colorful and cartoony as this. Maybe they would. I don't know. That'd be interesting. Like, a first-person shooter that is, like, colorful and cartoony. I 
I mean, I suppose Doom kinda is. But like, dude, with all with all this real 3D going on. I know that id Software is working on a new game for PC. I think they're calling it Quake. Alright, what am I doing? I, I got four of the red coins. <sighs> if only I could do this for a living, you know? Wouldn't it be so cool to be able to just record gameplay and talk over it and just do that for a living? Maybe one day. I guess I got all five of the blocks. I mean, I keep mentioning Doom because, like, it's seriously one of my favorite games ever. We finally got a computer not too long ago that can run it. What was this level? I think this was a snow level, right? Yeah, this is the one. This is the one where I couldn't find the last red, red coin. And I don't feel like dealing with that. But wait, I remember... I remember there was, like, an area in the back of the castle? Let's check that out. It's cool that I can just do that. It's really cool that, like, they just give you this area that you can just mess around in. Huh. Grab the trees. I know I did that before already. Oh, guess we ain't going back there yet. What about this door? Well, that was kind of weird, the uh, shaky camera. Alright, I'm, I'm seeing how you progress in this game. You just keep collecting more stars. If that's the case, let's go back here. Uh, Lake Mountain. This is very interesting. Just the possibilities for how video games can even be. Now, I've seen the PlayStation. It looks pretty cheap compared to this, I will say that. But it's got the discs. That's like its selling point, is the discs have like... ...way more data on them than cartridges. I heard some games might even start using multiple discs... ...to make them even bigger, I don't even know how that would work. Come here. Honestly, I don't I don't really see why you would need that much data. Like a compact disc is like 700 megabytes. Like holy crap, that is I I I don't know how big like game cartridges typically are. I would imagine the Nintendo 64 has much larger storage capacity on those cartridges than, like, say, the Super Nintendo or the Sega Genesis, but still. I mean, how can it not with all, with all of this going on? Hi. Can't get me. Hold up. Ow. No, 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 no. Oh! Bad doggy. Oh, I was right. I was right. You can do that. 
Oh, this game is so cool. I'm gonna show my uncle this. He'll probably tell me not to show it to anyone. I feel like Nintendo is very, like, uh, protective of this kind of thing. But I'm gonna hold on to it anyway. This is for me. And maybe, like, a couple of my friends. Maybe Jonathan would like to see this. I know he likes Mario, too. Well, yeah, he likes Mario, too. And Mario 3. And Mario 1, for that matter. We, we, we would play a lot of Mario All-Star on the Super Nintendo. Which that sort of reminds me, because, like... I also have a Sega Genesis. I got it for my birthday a few years back. I was much younger. Video games were still new to me. I think I already beat you. Uh, well, heck. Wait a minute. Come on. I'm gonna beat you again just for the fun of it. Oh, he's got a crown. He is the king. The king of the wall people. I gotta say, you look at this controller. And you think, this thing's kind of weird, like... How are you supposed to use this thing if the D-pad is on one handle and the joystick is on the other? Well, this game doesn't seem to use the D-pad at all. Alright, so there's no point in getting that. But how do I get that? Hmm. Hmm. Oh! Saved it. I wonder if I can get all eight red coins in this level. I could just run around. Like, I don't even mind getting lost, because this is so much fun. It would be kind of cool to be like a game reviewer for a living. Like the people on Nintendo Power and stuff in the magazine. Like that has to be like the coolest job ever. You just play video games and talk about what you think about them. Wouldn't that be amazing if you could just do that? But I guess I'll just settle for making a dumb little VHS tape recording me playing this thing. Because, like, also, like, when the full version, when the finished version comes out, how different is it going to be from this? I could be playing a version of this game that won't even exist when the final version comes out. Like, that's kind of trippy to think about. Huh. Uh, oh. A cannon. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I think I see now. I can't, I can't fully turn that way, though. Oh! We're flying! Cool! Get that star. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm in. I, I went through it! What kind of bull crap is that? There we go. I had to be a little lower. How did I even program this crap? How 
how would you even begin to program this crap? I don't want to go to that one. I need one more star to get to the big door up there, so... Let's do the lava level again. <laughs> Look, I'm getting better at this. But like I was saying, like, this controller is weird at first, but, like, it feels natural when you get used to it. I imagine because this is the Mario game of this new Nintendo system, it's designed specifically to help you get used to it. And I'd say it's doing a pretty good job. I still didn't get all the red coins in that one level. Well, let's try for this one. How many, how many stars do I have here? I only have one so far. I'll tell you, there are some problems here, and I think part of it is just because this is an early version of the game, and another part of it is just, like, the technology is still, like, brand new. So, like, there are gonna be things that you can't really do on this system just yet. But I'm, I'm excited to see what games will look like about five years from now on this system because you know when a system lasts long enough developers start getting better at programming for them so I'm excited to see what that's gonna be like you no no you're just a jerk, that's what you are. You're just a bully. Wouldn't it be funny if that was his actual name? Like, I, I don't know, I, I'm a pretty contemplative guy. I think about these kinds of things. Oh crap, here we go! Ah! Oh, that's what that star is for. Wonder if I can make it, make it from there. Ah, I shouldn't. All right, come on with this. I can't imagine that PlayStation selling more than this thing. Like, come on, look at this. But, like, Mario's made up of, like, blocky balls. But, like, you know, the graphics aren't, like, realistic realistic, but you wouldn't expect that. But, like, the three-dimensional space is very believable and you can suspend disbelief pretty easily all right well that just opens it's a picture of bowser huh can't go in there ah oh this is cool we get a bowser level now you've stepped right into my trap just as I knew you would, I warn you, friend, watch your step. You're not my friend at all. I guess that one doesn't have secrets. Not all the blocks have secrets, some of them just have coins. That makes sense. I'm still noticing, like, a lack of any kind of power-up. I'm not seeing any kind of power-ups happening here. I'm not saying this game needs them, but it's kind of weird as a Mario game.
I mean, Mario 3 had like 50 of them. Oh yeah, it doesn't really seem like you need power-ups in this game because Mario is just really capable. It's like challenging, but the game gives you all the moves you need to get through it. Oh cool. Is that it? I can't imagine we're fighting Bowser already. That wouldn't make any sense because all of those levels that I was looking at earlier. If I see Bowser down this pipe. Holy crap, it's Bowser. I, what do I do? 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 Holy crap, this is actually like kind of scary. Because it's like 3D, it's like realistic looking. I mean, Bowser looks like he got stung by a bee in his face, but... Yeah, no. That's not what you do. What about his tail? Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Get out of here. Into the lava you go. Okay. What about these blue things? I bet they hurt him. Come here! Ah, I missed. Ah, he just stomped on me. Uh, I got you now. Guess not. Look, I'm gonna be like the first guy. I'm gonna be the first guy to get good at Mario 64. Outside of like Nintendo themselves. Okay. stars oh the other door the other door behind the castle said it also needed eight stars so I can go there now oh the booze are back it's the haunted garden I didn't even know that would work I just tried I assume if they're anything like the booze in Mario 3 and Mario World, then you look at them and... No, no, no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Interesting. These booze, these booze, these are brave booze. They don't get shy. We got more pictures here, I see. And a big boo. Take that. Oh. Oh. Welcome, no one's home now. Scram if you're a coward or find the key. Ghosts still live here. So you gotta be careful. That's that's kinda funny. Whoa, 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 what is this? Battery meter? What? You need a key to open this door. Battery meter! Oh. Okay. Ah, okay. You get the... You get the keys from the booze. And... Coins regenerate. What is up with the battery thing? I don't like that. It's making me nervous. Take that. The coins regenerate it, so I just gotta keep getting coins.
Dun, dun, dun. Uh, is this enough? Oh, I guess it is. Take that. What is this battery meter for? I don't get it. No. There, there's an eyeball. There's an eyeball. Oh, no, 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 no. No. It's staring at me. It's staring at me. Stop. Stop doing that. Oh. That's how you beat it? Okay. No complaints here. That's part of the fun of any new game is like discovering. What's gonna happen if I run out of battery? There's P. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That actually got me. That got me. At least I know it does that now. You're a one trick pony, piano. And I fell for it again. Good. Let me get some key. Get some coins. Need coins. What's down here? Oh. oh, this camera. It's not the best. Hello. My battery's still going down when I talk to you. Alright, I'm out of here. No? Well, fine. Oh, Big Boo! Big Boo mirror! That's kind of cool. Uh, take that! Less Big Boo. Regular size Boo! The star has no reflection. It's a vampire star? It's a spooky level, so I guess that would make sense. Alright. I don't want to do that level again just yet. Like, that whole battery thing was, like, making me anxious. Okay, okay. I didn't even read all that. I just want to play the level. More red coins. Oh, man, Th this game is pretty dang cool. Another cannon? Is that, that, that pipe is just floating and there's a star up there. I'm guessing there's a star up there. But what's up with that pipe? It's just floating. Oh... I see. I, I suppose the system has to do that. Like when things are too far away so that... Well, wait, the pipe is there, but the platform it's on doesn't show up until you get close to it. It's interesting. I think I'm learning a little bit about, like, how this works. I, I'm, I'm gonna get this star, and then I'm gonna come back and see what's in that pipe. Go away. No, it wasn't that level, was it? This is so... Mario's voice is so weird in this game. I would not expect him to sound like that. I guess I wouldn't know what to expect he would sound like. Just like I wouldn't expect Sonic to sound like Urkel. 
I think that might be Urkel. I don't know. The next time I see Family Matters, I'm gonna look up who Urkel is, and then... If I catch a rerun of the Sonic show, I'll see who Sonic is. Like, that, that would be amazing. Take that! Take that! No? Come here. Aha! It worked. Alright. Still gonna see what's in that pipe. Yeah, okay. Sometimes I lose my train of thought. <sighs> I've been diagnosed with ADHD, so... Hopefully that's not too much of a problem for anyone potentially watching this in the future. Uh, wait. just takes me back down here. Oh, dang. Interesting. But why, though? Maybe that's a shortcut to get back up there. Never thought of that? Let's see. I'll go back in the pipe over there, and then that might be a shortcut to get up. Unless it takes me somewhere else. No. I was gonna say, Mario... Mario pipes are weird like that sometimes. Oh! I, I, I couldn't do the thing, because I was doing a... Long jump, I guess. Oh, no! Well... At least I know what's in the pipe now. I'm gonna try this level. That red level looks a little scary. I don't think my heart can take it right now. Like, I'm sure when I get used to it, it'll be fine. It's not that I can't handle scary stuff, but this, this is like brand new. Like, Castlevania, like Castlevania 4 on the Super Nintendo, um, it's sort of kind of scary, I guess, but it's more like, it's more like action horror, I guess, kind of like Doom, I keep bringing up Doom, but like, that's because I love it, like, it was scary at first. Doom was scary at first, but the better you get at it, the more you feel like a badass. And it's like all these scary demons you're fighting, you're just mowing them down one by one. And it's just really cool. Like those dudes at id Software know how to make a game. Uh, oh, oh! That was weird. I. Uh, yeah. Okay, that works. Dad says I shouldn't be smoking. I don't really care. He shouldn't leave your cigarettes laying around. Uh, 
I don't want to be an asshole like that, you know? But I sort of already got myself addicted. So, whatever. I don't have to censor myself. This is my video. Ooh. It's got like a moody shadow effect. That's cool. Okay. This is tricky. Huh. What the heck? That was weird. I'm just imagining, like, games that are actually meant to be scary. Like, what are those gonna be like? Because I'm sort of nervous and excited at the same time for something like that. Like, if a game can make me feel genuinely terrified for, like, the situation I'm in. And it'll feel so much more real because of, like, the 3D graphics. Like, even Doom is, like, half 3D. Okay. Really? You expect me to pull that off? Like that? Oh! I don't know, this, this feels like a bit much. Like, I'm doing it. I'm getting up here. And I think I saw that last red coin down here. Yep. There it is. And I saw another star up there. I wonder why the game, like, boots you out of the level when you get a star. That's a little annoying. Maybe they'll fix that in the full version. Or the completed version or whatever. Like, this isn't a demo. This is just, like... A nearly complete version. But all right, let's get up here again. But yeah, I don't know. I just, I like the idea of a scary video game that when you get good at it, you feel just like an incredible badass, you know? That happened again. This guy's killing the bombs! He's not just trying to kill me, he's killing the other enemies, too! These guys really are jerks. Good lord, they remind me of school. I don't want that. I don't want video games to remind me of school. That's the opposite of why I play video games. But then again, you can't knock your bullies into lava. Not legally, anyway. And even if you could, finding lava would be pretty difficult, I'd imagine. Okay, we gotta do this one carefully. I said carefully! Oh, 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 Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, this, this is rough. I hope they make this level less... Like, this feels like it should be, like, near the end of the game. I'm not saying there shouldn't be a level that's tough like this, but, like... You know, you want... You want the tough part to be near the end of the game. You want the final levels to be, like, a test of skill. Everything you've learned up until that point, that's how, like, good game design works. 
So it seems a little weird that Nintendo would sort of break that. Unless that's not even close to the hardest level in this game. Oh man, that's a terrifying thought. Well, let's see what's this way. I think I remember the other door in the saying something about like the basement area. Oh, well, I can go in here now. Ooh. Interesting. Mushroom level? Oh, great. Oh, the camera's not great in this one. Oh, what, what, whoa, what is going on here? A little, like, cinematic camera going on there. Oh! Hold up. It's not, it's not doing it this time. Oh, ow. Good thing that doesn't take any damage. Huh. Man, if I keep going, I might just end up beating this game. I don't know how many stars in total you need to collect. Oh, there we go. I hope you don't have to get them all to beat the game. That would suck. Like, getting them all should be like an extra challenge. Alright. Well, let's see what other levels there are. This is... This is so cool. Is this a level? I guess it is. Ooh. Uh, the camera. The camera again. Again with the camera. I can't even turn it around. I suppose, like, what they're doing is they're kind of controlling it so that I look at the things that I'm supposed to look at. It turned around when I went in the water, though, so that's good. Treasure chests. Huh? Oh, oh, that's not good. Maybe I gotta pick the right one? That's also kind of weird, like... Collecting coins gives you health? And Mario loses health underwater? Oh no, 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 no. We can't be making mistakes like that. We gotta find the right one. One. So, I gotta do them in order then? Oh, that's gonna be a pain. Maybe not. Maybe they're placed in a specific order so that... We'll, 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 we'll just try, like, the natural... Yeah, that seems to be working. We're just going, like, counterclockwise here. That seems to work. And I'm guessing... All right! That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah. Oh man, I could play this game forever, I swear.
What's this way? That looks like a desert level, and that's another... That's another ice level. Let's check it out. Hopefully it'll be better than that other one. Jump into the hole. It's really nice. Penguin! Penguin! Come here! Oh. Sorry. Sorry. I'll just... Okay. Into the hole! Um... Start. Oh! Oh, oh, we're sliding! We're sliding! Whoa, whoa, okay. Oh, okay. I see. This is fun. Can't move the camera. Oh, follow the coins! I assume the other way was a dead end. Oh, oh, oh. Kind of hard to get all these coins. And... Alright. I just jumped through that grate there. It's fine. Twenty stars. Oh, you bet I'm going to do that. What was it? Where? Yes. Damn it. There it is again. Did you see that date at the bottom of the screen? That, that's got to be a typo. Luigi. Uh, his voice is the same. I think he jumps a little higher. His run animation's kind of funny. He was also... He was always the goofy brother. Uh, let's go back down in the basement. Which I guess we can go through here. Yeah. What's in this door? All right, then. Well, I got plenty of levels to go through. 40 seems like a lot. Uh, not, ah, crap. Yeah, Luigi seems to have slightly different controls. I think he gets a little more air when you do that than Mario does. Uh. Hold on. I was just goofing there. I didn't know you could actually run up that. I thought maybe I would have to fly or something. Well, there's a star. Oh, I'm stuck in the sand. Huh? That that's a cute detail, I'll give him that. It's We'll go in there later. This is just so crazy compared to anything I've ever played before. This is insane. Oh, I can run up the nearly 90 degree angle pillars, but I can't run up the the pyramid. I see how it is. I would say it might be a glitch, but it looks like you're supposed to run up those to get the red coins. So I guess just like some hills just have like... Are just slipperier than others. But all right, there's another, another star here. 
Well, that one was easy. <clears throat> I suppose with how many stars there probably are in this game, they can't all just be, like, difficult or challenging. But that was, like, way easier. Maybe there's supposed to be a boss or something over there and they just haven't programmed it yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, man! I just died in the quicksand. That's some Mario 2 shit right there. Huh. Alright, well. Now I know some sand is quicksand. I mean, I had a feeling that you probably don't want to fall down there. I didn't think it would be instant death, though. I think Luigi is way slipperier. That makes sense if you've ever played uh, the Lost Levels in Mario All-Stars. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I love that. I mean, this game is pretty realistic as far as video games go, but it it's still... It's still very cartoony. I like that. I have one life left. Just like in real life. Alright, get out of it. Get out of this thing. Gotta make it count. There's your, uh... There's your words of wisdom for the day. You only have one life, make it count. Alright, alright. Awesome. Wish Jonathan was here to see this. I'll show him the tape. I know my uncle will probably say I shouldn't, but... What he don't know won't hurt him, you know? Unless he watches this tape and sees that part where I said that. Hey! Whoa! No! Penguin! Penguin, come here! You're going on an adventure with me! You're going... I assume I have to do something with you. Come on, we're going down the slide! Wee! You like the slide! Red coin! Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh! No, 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 yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, no. Well then. Alright, come here. It's a little wonky. The sliding is. I assume that's one of the things they'll probably fix in the completed version. I don't know. I hope so. But that's one of those things where I don't know if they can or not. Because I don't know how this dang Nintendo 6... This friggin' Ultra 64 works. I call it a Nintendo 64. I don't know why. It just sounds more natural. Ultra 64? It's a cool name. It certainly lives up to that. No, Penguin! Huh? Ah! There's a big penguin and a little penguin. Maybe I bring you. No, oh, man, you slippery little shit! Oh, in the snow! In the snow! Okay. Hi, is this yours? 
Oh. I guess it is. Uh, here. Glad to be of help. Man, wouldn't it be mean if I just took one of these penguins and threw it over the edge like that? I feel like a lot of people would do that. That's like in Zelda when you uh, torture the chickens. But like, it'd be funny if like you got attacked by like hundreds of penguins. That would be funny. I'm not gonna find out though, that's for sure. I have some integrity, you know? Oh, okay, that's the locked one. Uh, you know what? I'm feeling brave. No. I want to go back to... I want to go back to the spooky level. Hold up. Uh, that, that's a little wonky. The hazy cave, internal sewer system, the city. The city's got one, two, four, eight. Eight coins in it. Ghost House has two more in it. I was just talking about being brave. I can't believe a friggin' Mario games got me nervous. It's the 3D. It just makes it feel more real, you know? Even though, like I said, the graphics aren't, like, ultra-realistic or anything, like, Luigi's made up of individual parts and he looks like he's made of plastic or something. Or like paper mache, maybe. Okay. I'm ready for you now. Oh! Okay, I get to keep the keys from before. That's nice. It's blue. It's... Okay. Because I already got them all. I see. Hey! Back up! Ah! It's you again! I... Let me through. Please let me through. Give me... Give me coins. Give me coins. Yeah, there we go. Well, alright. What else is there? Come on. Look at me. Luigi really does control kind of weird compared to Mario. As he should. If they were the exact same, that would be weird. Especially because he's an unlockable. Uh, oh, whoa, no, no, hey, no, that wasn't fair. Three eighty-two, eighty-one coins, please. What the heck? A a am I a ghost now? Can I just? I don't get hurt. Oh, I ran out. I ran out. Can I? Can I get it again? Yes, good, good. Good. But then, what do I use it for? Ooh, what's up here? I can't tell the camera! Alright, we're good. We're on top of the house now, it looks like. I'm almost halfway down my weird battery meter. The worst part is I don't know what it does. I don't know what it's for. I don't know what it does. I don't know what happens when you run out of it. If I knew, it wouldn't be as bad, but the game just kind of dropped it on me. Uh, okay. 
Wow. Oh, no, no. I missed the star. That, that's annoying. Oh, no. Up. Oh. Okay, there we go. All right, slow. There we go. I'm still running out. You know what? I'm just going to brave it. I'm just going to see what happens. Probably lose a life. But I want to make sure. Face your fears, as they say. Alright, get away from me. I'm going to see... I'm going to see what happens when I run out of battery. Whoop! Yee! Oh! I didn't think that would work. It's an easier way to get up there, I guess. Alright, Camry, can you back up a little bit? Oh! There we go! Awesome! I suppose I can hang out up here and be safe until the battery runs out. I think I'm going to have to turn my AC up. Hold up. Okay, I wanted to make sure... If I pause the game, like, obviously, if you pause the game, it should stop going down, but that doesn't mean it would. So I just wanted to make sure. Hey! I'm getting good at this. It's almost like I've been playing this game all my life, really. That's how it feels. Like, it feels brand new, and yet, like, a part of me at the same time. You know? But, uh, I'm gonna hang out here, I'm gonna turn my AC up, and I hope the noise isn't too much. Because, like, it's hot in here. Hey! Okay. That was some bull. Should be better. Oh, he's sleeping. Huh? That's not very smart. That's not very smart, Luigi. I had a Pepsi over here somewhere. Where I put it? Where did I put it? Found it. There we go. Eleven, ten, nine. Luigi's gonna die in his sleep. That's really how we all want to go, isn't it? Oh, whoa! What the heck? What? It was a light! Well, hold up! Now it's just dark! That's actually less scary than I thought it would be. I thought, like, a big boo was gonna come and one hit me or something. No, the lights just went out. There we go. Die. Is it just me or are the coins that these boos are dropping small?
What? Really? Well, look, even if the lights are out, I could probably still navigate this just fine. I got, I got pretty good eyesight. What the heck? Every time! Alright. I assume I need this for something. I don't know what. Come back here, ghost. Give me your coins. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What about that picture on the wall there? Because I feel like I should be able to, like, walk through certain walls. Yeah, there it goes. It's dark now. But I can still kind of see what I'm doing. It's not the worst. That does not last very long at all. I guess... I guess that's a, this game's version of a power-up? I was saying before, like, the lack of power-ups in this game was a little weird, but I guess... I guess I was wrong. I'm done. Can I get this? Yeah. I assume it doesn't count. Let's just... <laughs> Luigi looks bored. Or like annoyed. Like, ugh. I don't know where that last star is and I don't feel like looking. I want to be Mario again. Yeah. Okay, that's weird. I don't know what the hell... I don't know what's up with that. It says Game of 64. I don't know what's up with that. My uncle gave me this cartridge. Maybe it's a Japanese thing. Maybe that's Mario's name in Japan. But then why would he have an M on his hat? The M stands for me. I want to be Mario again. That is cool. Alright, well. The game wants me to have 40, 40 stars. I don't know if I'm going to get that far. I don't know if I'm going to get that far while recording this. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I don't want this video to spoil everything. Alright, but you know what? First of all. Oh, I thought I could jump on him there. I can jump on him, but like I have to wait for him to finish appearing. That was cool. I assume just like any other Mario game, if I get a hundred coins, I get an extra life. Which might be the only way to get an extra life. These aren't hidden very well. Most of them are just kind of out in the open. And the rest of them are in these friggin' areas. You're just gonna have to take the hit. That's the only way I can think of. But he bounces off the, the ice the same way he bounces off the lava. I suppose extreme temperatures are extreme temperatures no matter what, but still. Alright, that's six. Six out of eight. Hi. Ha! <laughs> Got him. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Fuck is your problems? Quit it. Seven. All right, we're back where we started here. I'm convinced that there might not be an eighth coin 
on this level. I think I already checked up here too. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, it doesn't hurt to double check. Also, this game doesn't have a time limit like other Mario games do. Which is pretty cool. It gives you enough time to just explore. I ain't gotta worry about trying to do it too fast. I'm sure there will be some people who try to beat this game as quickly as possible. I'm imagining like in the uh, in the future that would be like a thing. They'd call it like quick runs or something. Maybe I have to be close enough for it to be visible? Because I see some things popping in and, in and out of existence as I run around. Oh, almost. I think I can get up there from this tree. Oh. Okay. But uh, the red coin is not in there. That's pretty cool, just the fact that you can see through it like that. I mean, it seems pretty obvious, but, you know. Like, then again, I really don't know how video game graphics work. And this is so crazy and brand new, all this 3D stuff going on. Oh, Mario's cold! Oh, poor Mario! No, he's bundling up! We'll get you out of here. We gotta look for that. We ain't gotta get that eighth red coin. Don't worry about it, Mario. You did good. Hold on. What was that noise? I don't think that was part of the game. <sighs> Let's see if I can get all eight red coins in this one. you hmm I think I already looked up here I don't think there are any red coins up here can I slide down this we I don't know if they still do this, but Nintendo Power used to have this thing. Like, I've only seen one here and there. So I don't know if they still do this, but they used to have this thing where, like, you took a, you took, like, a picture with your camera of your TV screen when you beat a game or you get a high score, and then they, like, put you in the magazine. That might have been a different magazine, now that I think about it. I don't know, sometimes they have them at, like, doctor's offices. That's always cool to see. Holy crap, I am having the worst luck with these dang red coins. 
Ah, uh, moving on. Right, that's where the Bowser level is. There might be another Bowser level behind that other door. Yeah, this one. It says 40. We need 15 more stars. Uh, you know what? My brain cannot take all of this all at once. Like, I've already played for I don't even know how long. But, I'll see if I can pick this up later. Well, anyway, I hope this is enjoyable to someone in the future at one point because that would be pretty cool like you never know you just make something random and that's usually where the best ideas come from is just people doing random stuff but for now I guess Thanks for watching, if anyone's watching.